Welcome back to another exciting episode of Fred Talks. Today we're going to look at the Harbor Freight Plasma Cutter. This is the model number 95136. Now this thing just quit cutting. Uh, did a little online research and it's a pretty quick fix. You can fix it generally for under about 25 bucks if it's the same problem. This thing just wouldn't would no longer arc up. So you're going to remove the cover. And inside, you're going to find this little setup here coming off the air supply. And right here is your little um, air solenoid. So I replaced this thing, picked it up online for about 25 bucks. And after a little visual inspection of the machine, I also found um, just below where the uh, solenoid is there, um, there were these little um, capacitors, if you will, down here, right in here. And I'll show you the old one. So there were some in there that just, I noticed, had uh, blown. And you can buy these off uh, offline for about, uh, for less than $4 for a pack of five. So I replaced those as well. And you have to just be careful when you're putting these in that you get them oriented uh, where they're opposing, basically. Two on one side and two on the other so that the current's moving in the right direction and uh, put some air to it turn it on fired it up and she's working again so um, that's about all I can tell you I hope that helps but if you have one of these things and you want to try to bring her back to life you can do it uh, for less than 30 bucks if that's the same uh, problem you're having I know some guys have had some problems with these uh, relays here however that wasn't the case with mine those seem to be working properly it's another little relay over here but those all seem to be kicking on and off just wasn't getting any spark or air through the system so back up and running for under 30 bucks hope this helps good luck thanks for watching fred talks